Hi guys and welcome to C++ tutorial of a calculator developed using closure function. And let me show you guys how this works. So let's say we enter a number in there and what we intend to do is to use the subtraction operator and let's say we're subtracting 45 from okay 54 from that and there we go we end up with two supposing we decide to enter another number we say 12 let's multiply by nine there so what i am going to do now is i'm going to take you guys straight into c plus plus development environment and we put one of these together using the function that is called closure and we also be using the switch statement as well. There's a lot to put there to take in, in here. So let's start by clicking on new project and get rid of this. Then we come in here, create a new project. And there I'm going to select the C console right there. So let's click on next. Let's take this off so that you guys can see what I'm about to do. Click on next. And I'm just going to call it CPP Closure Console Calculator. There we go. So I'm going to save that. Click on Create. There we go. The development environment is ready, and we end up with the default you know hello world if you run that you end up with hello world on your system there we go that's it right there so i'm gonna get rid of that and if you want you can also get rid of all these comments that just tell you what to do how, how to go about it i'm just gonna push that down and let's come up here now first thing first i'm going to import as follows now i've already we have, I have the default include function there, so I'm going to include another function in here. And this second function is going to be known as functional. Let's come in here, just enter functional and then press enter. Now, the next thing that I want to do is right up here, I'm going to let's specify that I would like the system to use the name using namespace std the standard version there and right here inside the int main here okay i'm going to now define the operator function that i intend to use and that's going to be the lambda operation let's just comment that and I just enter define the land the operator function operator function as lambda there we go it's lambda expressions there now Let's start by saying auto. That's one of the building. Auto is going to be add. So this is me now declaring my what you call delegate. That is going to be add, and this add is going to have a value of an array that there's nothing in there. And let's say double. The data type is going to be double. And let's give that a name a the second one i'm just going to call it maybe b paste that in here i'm going to call that b and let's say add a pointer in there double and enter a coily braces you can always down down but i'm just going to leave it here so i'm going to ask it to return the value of a plus b there we go so i've just created my first lambda function so in here i'm just going to end that and in 
good here as well. There we go. That's the very first one. So I might as well just copy this for the other. The other three. Two, three, four. There we go. And here is going to be subtract. And let's call this multiplication. And here is going to be division. But guess what? We need to change the names. This is division. Call that divide. Then I'm going to call this multiply. More. Yeah, that is correct. And this is going to be known as, let's just call it subtract. Subtract. There. Now that all of that is taken care of, now let's take care of. Oh, okay, let's use a, a while loop first to do as follows. If that is going to be true, then uh, enter a statement block in there. So I'm going to declare an operator that I intend to use a char operator. Notice the name is a char. Then I'm going to also declare another double. This double is going to house two local variable and that happens to be A and B. There we go. And now that that is done, and now I'm going to use C out. Okay, I want the console to print out the following. So let's say C out, C out. I'm going to call that enter, enter a number. Okay, that's fine. Okay, this will actually output something for us. That's what the C out is for. To take in something, you call that C in. So let's end this one with a semicolon. Let's put a column here, space in there, and a semicolon in here. That's my very first one. Now I want the C in to take in whatever value that I enter in here. I want that stored inside the first letter, and that is A. There we go. Now, guess what? I need, let me enter a carriage return in there. I'm going to enter a C out in there, then enter that. And I fit a uh, speech map, and this represents to the next line carriage return. So that's the first one taken care of. Now we can just copy this again. Copy this will be for the second number. So I'm going to change this one to B, and this one here I'm going to change that to OP. That's for the operator. This one here. So it's a OP. Now let's modify this very well. So because this one is going to be a num uh, an operator, I'm going to say enter an operation. Or enter an operator, something like that. Enter an operator. And this operator is going to be as follows. Let's give the user a clue. Let's say we have a plus subtract multiply comma and division there we go and right here in here let's do one more thing i'm going to enter a carriage return right here and underneath here i'm going to leave it as it is uh let's see let's take off this carriage return i want it Okay, I want it on the same line, so that's fine. Yeah. Okay, that is taken care of. All right, I'm now going to use a switch statement. But before then, let's enter a comment here. So, as you can see, use a closure function to perform the operation. Okay, so right underneath here, let's say function. And that is why I use function out there. So I'm going to grab all of these and just paste it there instead of typing. Come right here. I say function. 
and this function is going to be let's say double right in there let's enter double and the double function is going to take in the following double argument as well so we can grab all of these and put those ones in a quote and comma there we go all right so here i'm going to call the operations let's see the operation and end that with semicolon there now let's use the switch statement to check whatever the user enter using the operator so let's come down here we just say switch and in here what are we looking for is whatever we have inside the operator press enter and open up the curly braces also known as the statement block inside the statement block i'm now going to say case if whatever is entered happens to be the plus sign there we go that's my very first condition the operator here this very one will be equals add the operation i mean equals add okay i'm referring to this add right up there that is taken care of using the lambda expression okay now once that is achieved i want you to break there we go so that's my very first condition taken care of so i can just copy this and use it for the other three paste now the operator here is going to be subtract and in that case we change this to this lambda expression here subtract grab all of subtract and just dump it right in here there we go the next one is the multiply copy come down here change that to multiply and make sure you change the symbol here the operator symbol to multiply symbol and here we have divide and just change this one to divide there done well it's not finished yet supposing there's an error so right underneath here we can always add it's a default it's kind of like default function for C++, you can say default. I want you to take care of this, just display a message or something. So we can say C out. If any of the operators selected is not in here, just say invalid operation. There we go. And you can end that. End line okay that's it end line and that's very comment or whatever you have in there and if you end it without asking it to continue again that's it it will just end so you still want it to continue because an error was made enter the command continue okay now that is taken care of we now want the system to perform the operation and print out the results. So in that case, let's come right underneath here. So let's add a comment. Just ask it to perform the following operation. So we say perform operation and print the results. So to do that, let's grab hold of the double results. Let's say double result and that will be equals operation and the operation is between a a and b the end of semicolon we now need c out to display whatever we have so we can just grab hold of all of these 
and change things around is that underneath here and here uh, let's say that's going to be my result it's a result and that is going to be a result and in here I'm going to enter let's enter a carriage return in there and there we go I think I am done okay before we can run it let's okay before we can run it we need to actually ask the system to return some value in there and that's going to be return zero there okay then I think I am done so let me show you guys the lines of codes take it from the top you can let's check this out and import the two input and, and the input string and the functional user name then your main declare your lambda function in there and here using a while loop enter the following enter an input enter input enter an input for the system to work on and here that's where i actually create my closure right there that's my closure i then use a switch statement to run things up the switch statement you guys are used to that anyway so that's it right there okay the only new bit might be this the rest you used to it and there we go that's it done so have another good look bring it down and down there we go and let's run it now run so we enter a number in there 45 plus whatever there it's 45 plus 541 equals 586 enter another number you can say 2 multiply by 49 that should give us 90 okay let's subtract 785 subtract that from uh, let's say 600 that should give us 185 and so on that's how you create your own calculator in c++ using the closure function so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel you all have a nice day now and bye for now